They are Sydney's silent army, and that army of the homeless is growing every night. Across our city, out in the open and in every nook and cranny, they cannot meet more and more people are sleeping we are rough. We try to ignore. There are many being watched over by a few. I'm currently homeless and living on the street. I'm staying in the building. Sydney. <laughs> I don't understand how people can turn a blind eye. The amount of people that flow through Central Station would obviously observe many people sleeping around the perimeter of the station. I think that now it's increasing day by day. I've seen that the station, the Central Stations, on the Tonnen Station, I've seen that in the nights that people are sleeping. They need to sort of maybe give life, sort of. Um, no, like there's jobs out there that they could get. Sometimes I question if there's a job somewhere while they can't take it up. You know, there's jobs out there that a lot of people don't want to do that are going to pay money. I've had a job. I actually don't have any um, qualifications. I'm just a labourer. Um, but at the moment I'm currently not working. I'm on benefits, which is really, really hard because of the price of rent and food. I can't afford to rent a place of my own. I'm an excavator operator by trade, I'm a ticketed operator. I'm a uh, jackaroo by trade, I used to work on two farms. Oh, I go to factories and all that every single day trying to get some work and unfortunately not having an address and bank details and so forth, a lot of people don't want to put me on. I have to ask people for money, for food, sometimes a blanket. Pulling up strangers, asking if they could help me out for something to eat. Popping into shops, asking if I can do some odd jobs to earn something to eat. From time to time, um, I've given homeless people some money. If I can help by giving them drinks and food, they'll be much better. Instead of because most of them, what I know is that they use the money for not for get it some food or anything, but they do it for alcohol. I'd rather buy them, you know, a ticket or some food than give them money though. This is a bit of a waste of money if they're just going to go and blow it or something. Sometimes people do give me some money. More times than not, though, people just consider you a bum and, I don't know, maybe a drug addict or an alcoholic, then they don't want to have anything to do with you. They actually think that we're the scum of the earth. They all think that we're drug addicts or alcoholics. Now, there's a, ra a range of problems for myself. I'm not a drug user and certainly don't use alcohol. There's really not one particular reason why people experience homelessness. I work at the Matthew Talbot Hostel. Um, it's situated in Woolloomooloo, uh, very close to King's Cross. We have facilities here that house 98 men. We also have um, a clinic which dispenses medications, a kitchen that makes meals of about 200 to 300 people uh, for every setting, breakfast, lunch and dinner. We also have a laundry and the men here, the clients, can come and do their own washing here. We have a clothing pool, so a couple of days during the week, men can go there and um, see if there are any clothes that they may need. We run music classes, art classes, cooking classes, and these are really designed to help the men, our clients, skill themselves, because some people may have come off the streets um, and, and or they may never have grown up with people teaching them how to look after themselves, basic hygiene, how to cook an egg. At the St Vincent de Paul Society, we're all about giving people a hand up, not a hand out. Now, I've had a very successful life, right? Not expecting anything like this to happen, and it has, right? So what you're not wanting from people is um, a financial handout, but rather moral support. Please don't judge everybody who's on the streets because of actions that somebody else may take. There are honest ones out there who really are trying to do what they can for themselves and please don't judge them for other people's attitudes. To show a bit of compassion because we're not all the same. I think if we could prevent our family and friends from feeling like there are no other options than to live on the street, I think that that would be a great start. We're not asking for a hand out, we're asking for a hand up.